We're just running the business. We're just getting the data and getting the results to make manufacturing better. So John Peterson, General Manager IT here at AWNC. We, it's very simple, we build automatic transmissions here. Uh, we take uh, rolled steel uh, and literally uh, cut those out of the original parts out of sheets of steel, make um, approximately 800,000 parts a day that then turn into 3,000 transmissions a day. It is unbelievable the density of the equipment and the amount of automation to build products but then almost equally uh, amazing is the lack of business automation and really we run the entire operation on, on Excel. Um, right now we are digitizing that automation and in around MES in particular to help to make the manufacturing operation more efficient and effective. Yeah, so the original intent is to uh, connect all of the equipment in the plant, uh, to collect information off of that equipment, to provide that to the manufacturing department, our engineers, and the quality department, uh, to make educated decisions uh, about the product or process. We used to have paper everywhere out on the line, and there were handwritten notes everywhere. Uh, going through all the papers that we currently use takes hours and is not very accurate. It's based on team members' notions and not actual fact and data. Oh, way, you only had a small block that whatever fault, whatever the machine was, and which that's what we call whenever a machine go, something goes wrong with it, you have to write down the machine number, whatever the fault was, and then you have to write down what all went wrong. If you call maintenance, then maintenance or engineer, if they were needed, had to sign off in that little block that you write in. Now the convenience of actually click, click, and maintenance just give me a tag, say I've been here, done that, I'm good. Look at our equipment, it's giving an output. It's giving you uh, variable data, it's giving you cycle time, it's giving you multiple things that help you drive your production lines and drive your efficiency. That was having to be pulled manually on cards originally. Uh, and not very easy to access. So the problem with the paper form, we didn't know if they were using it right or wrong. Uh, if there was nothing on it, obviously they weren't using it or the line was running perfectly. We had no idea. Uh, so now we are able to understand, uh, are they using our uh, MES system um, and are they confirming the data? And that's one of the, the KPIs we're tracking now. Those handwritten notes now are for the most part, the vast majority of the data is digitized and sent from the MES to the J5 uh, solution, and then just any notes are typed into that system. And at the end of the shift, you literally can hit a note in your production analysis sheet, the PAS sheet, uh, is able to be printed out with all the notes, with all the scrap, with all of the durations of time automatically put into the system. Um, so utilizing the, the J5 forms, uh, we can now uh, get that data digital at the point of uh, entry, um, whether that's uh, from the MES system or typed in by the operator. Uh, it also allows us to understand our line leadership, uh, are they approving when they should be approving. Um, it's also really helped with our shift handovers. Uh, understanding what happened on the shift before um, can really help the, the current shift uh, w tackle the problems that they may see. My role in coming into here was to get us out of this homegrown space, to get us out of these spreadsheets and start working into systems so when Windows 14 comes up, I'm not having to worry about uh, is my software solution or my application going to work with Windows 14. Um, it's, you know, someone else is doing that and we're just, we're just running the business. We're just getting the data and getting the results to make manufacturing better. Uh, now that data is easily coming through the IoT system and then into a laptop for a production member and engineer, they can go straight to our web and get that data readily uh, any given time now. So that's been a, a big advancement for us and a big advantage for us here at AW North Carolina so far. It reduces my um, workload substantially to just you know investigate the machines and the problems and spend more of my time focusing on how to fix the problems and the, the downtimes than it does to compile the data. I think it was difficult for the team to adopt 
everybody's paper with uh, are comfortable with with paper copies. Uh, we've been using paper copies almost 20 years. So members that have been here a while were comfortable, uh, and they and they liked that tangible paper. Um, so the drive really had to come from top down. Uh, but once they understood the layout and the purpose, and that. The end goal was to improve their process performance. Uh, they really adopted it quite well. First of all, let me say this. I'm actually privileged because my line was the first line that they put it on. Um, me and my offlines, along with my group leader, manager, it was, I wouldn't call it a challenge, but it was just interesting. So we were basically ready to start production so we could see how it would actually affect us in the role as far as, you know, is it going to show everything? Is anything going to be inaccurate? I mean, so basically everything was good. So, hmm, I really like where it's taking me. I'm impressed with it. I encourage other lines that says, hey, we don't want to do this while we got to do this. And I'm like, the convenience of actually doing MES or J5 is very beneficial. I'm letting the team leaders know as well. Once you get in the groove of it, you'll find yourself getting home to be able to cook dinner, tend to your family, and get some decent rest. Uh, matter of fact, our president is going through the training so that he can understand, and we have him now logged into the, the uh, intelligence system uh, to allow him to gain access to that data. The, uh, the highest leadership in the building now has access literally to machine level data that allows him to understand the OEE of the factory is very meaningful. And he knows he can drill down to that data level. And he's an engineer. He understands the lines, he understands the machines, he understands the operators, and he can drill down to that level. The the biggest improvement I've seen is that now we can really go out and see what's happening on that equipment uh, digitally on our laptops, on our PCs, and actually pinpoint and again Pareto out what's the most critical uh, items and go straight to those and, and make a, a big improvement. So our work with InSource has led us to open our eyes and see things that we could do going forward. Yeah, the Avid InSource relationship with uh, AWNC has been really good. InSource and Avid uh, did a good job of, of coming in, telling us, hey, there's how this works, and uh, we got to learn all about what a brown paper means and how our process put together. We got to learn all about um, what the Wonderware software did and, and the various components and how to build it. And then watching them light up when they uh, realize, oh, there's a report that I put together all the time and now that report is automated and I'm getting that push to my phone or I'm getting that push to a computer or I can go log in and get that and I don't have to do anything anymore. Um, listening to them walk out of the room and go, oh my gosh, okay, here's all the other things I can do with this. And, and them coming to the realization, these spreadsheets they've been working on for years and having to update and have a bad formula and have to go back and redo the whole thing now can be automated into a tool that allows not only them but everyone to have access to that information. Um, that's probably the, the biggest aha moment for me. If it was up to me to introduce this to other companies that does not use what we're using now, I would, be, I would tell them get it and get it quickly.